It's your girl, Michelle. I'm here at the 2022 Ministers and Wives Conference. We're here, we're gonna ask some of your favorite apostles, ministers, and wives some questions, so stay tuned. My name is Michael Iawajamana Moko. My name is Pastor Godfrey Amuzu. My name is Mrs. Margaret Asemno. I'm Apostle Dr. George Portofi. Hello, I'm Benyani Muhango. My name is Alfred Hanson Saki. Oh, my name is Apostle Dr. John Kwame Apia. Today has been awesome. It was awesome. This session was wonderful. I would say it was awesome. Great, marvelous, superb. Simply impactful and very transforming. Talking about the absolute truth and the way Pastor Muzu explained it, using Christ Jesus, who is the truth, the Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, and God, the Father, the truth himself an indication of the kind of prophecy that came to the church several years ago in Ghana. That at that time, the church had not even reached out to major cities in Ghana, but there was a prophecy that God was going to expand the frontiers of the church to different nations. And through this church, he was going to possess many, many nations. The birth of truth, you know, if you have your clothes on, and the cloth is so loose. The only thing that can tighten you so that you can stand firm is the belt. And that is the truth. About the belt of truth. And I came up with a phrase that says that not all facts are true, but then the truth is the fact. And that could be found in John chapter 14, I think, verse 6, where it says that Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So not all facts are true but then the truth itself is the fact. The placement of faith in our work with God, the fact that the shield of faith covers the entire body, lining it up with what the Roman soldiers did, and the fact that it protects you from all the arsenals that the enemy throws at you. Faith, that we should be strong and have the courageous to meet challenges. It has really impressed me and has challenged me to face the war that we are going to, or the battle that we are going to face in this world. He's standing up for the truth and not to hold back, but standing the ground and proclaiming the truth. I think that. Michael Jordan. LeBron. I think I'll go with the DIE. Seeing both. On behalf of my young boy, we are with Ronaldo. <laughs>